Hi everybody! Welcome to the channel. It's Diane's Decorating and More. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today to see what I am preparing in my kitchen. <laughs> I am preparing today the eggnog pound cake. I'm doing it a little different. Everybody puts it in a pan, or should I say, everybody puts it in a pound cake or bunt cake mold, right? Well, I wanted to try something different. I want to put it in three layers, okay? So, to do this, it's an experiment. Hopefully, it will turn out right. We'll see at the end of this video just how it goes. Okay. All right. Just to say thank you once again for your support, everybody. Appreciate you guys out there sticking with me and watching the channel, leaving comments and leaving suggestions as well. Appreciate you guys. All right. So let's get started. Everything is already at room temperature and we're going to do things a little backwards. I'm going to go ahead and make the frosting first. Then we'll get into the cake. Okay. In here, I have eight ounces of cream cheese. I have one stick of salted butter and four cups of powdered sugar and a couple of tablespoons of vanilla and one teaspoon, or should I say one tablespoon? Yeah, one tablespoon is what I'm going to use because I like the enhanced stuff as I go along. Uh, one tablespoon of the milk okay all right so we're gonna do that first we're gonna whip this all together and then we're gonna be right back so stay tuned okay all right so now we're gonna go ahead and do that part first until it's creamy and it has a good consistency and then come back and show you exactly what I'm doing here uh, in terms of the um, frosting that we're going to be using on the cake in between the cake layers. I am sifting the powdered sugar into the whipped uh, butter okay, and the cream cheese. So I wanted you to see that. Alrighty. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. And the reason I'm sifting it, of course, is to make sure that it is light and fluffy and there are no issues with the powdered sugar, like any clumps or anything like that, as you make this particular frosting, guys. It's very important. Okay. See the little things in there? I hope you can see that. Okay. Anyway, had a few little clumps there. So. All you got to do is just press that down, okay, or even you can discard of it. It depends on what you want to do. All right? All right. So I wanted you to see that before we get started on whipping this into the cream cheese and the butter. All right? So now we're going to go ahead and mix this in right quick all right there we go okay now since this has been sifted and everything it is going to fly up like a cloud so I'm going to go ahead and cover it with one of the um so you can see that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with a towel here okay while it mixes for like 30 seconds, okay? All right, that's just to secure it so it won't fly all over the place, all right? Okay. I can see clouds of smoke rising to the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, that's 
take a peek. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. <laughs> Anywho. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at my machine. Woohoo, Nelly. All right. So we're going to have to take a minute and clean this up and we'll be right back. Now, if you find that things are not coming together as quick as you think it should, go ahead and add some vanilla in there, okay? And this here is going to uh, kind of bring things together, and that's in terms of the powdered sugar. So I'm going to add. go ahead and add in um, one tablespoon okay, of that vanilla, all right? And we'll see exactly how that is whipped up into the powdered sugar will be right back so stay tuned let me take a look at this right quick and see if this is the consistency of what i'm looking for okay it's very important that that um frosting is not too stiff and not too loose it has to be just right so that when we put it onto the uh cake in between the layers of the cake we want it to going very smooth and also look for that glossiness that you uh, get when um, you are mixing uh, the icing okay all right so okay that's a little thick for me see how that just hangs there and it's not dropping okay that's a little too thick for me so to thin it out just a little I'm going to add in some milk okay and you can use um, regular milk or you can use canned milk or you can use whipping cream um, it all depends okay and since this is an eggnog cake okay, I can use some eggnog as well so it all depends on what you want to um, you to thin it out just a little bit all right all right so we're just gonna put like just a couple of tablespoons in there to thin this out all right okay so that's one tablespoon and i'll have one on standby just in case i need it okay all right so let's see what that does. That looks much better. About 30 seconds, that's about it. Alright, so let's take a peek at this. That looks much better, guys. Much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much better. Look at that. Okay. See, it's falling off. Yeah, that's what you want. So, it falls off by itself. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So, now we're going to set this aside. And we're going to come back and get ready to start on our cake. Stay tuned. All right. Now, we're ready to get started on this cake portion of our eggnog cake here all right so we're going to be using three sticks of our uh, salted butter all right so i'm not going to be putting any salt in the flour like i normally do with the rest of my cakes all righty so we're going to let this whip for about five minutes um and then we're going to come back okay and i'll show you the exact consistency of what it should look like all right so stay tuned so this is the consistency of what this looks like all right and i wanted to show you that right quick and that is your whipped butter that little shiny part right there always look for that that means it's ready now to this we're going to go ahead and add in our sugar and i'm using two and a half cups of sugar extra fine okay so we're going to mix that together and then we're going to allow that to combine 
and then I will show you what that looks like at the end as well. Okay. And I'm using an extra fine sugar because I want to make sure that it's not kind of like gritty. You know, I want that smoothness, smoothness for the cake because this is going to be a layer cake. It's not going to be the regular pound cake, eggnog pound cake. It's a layer cake. Just trying something a little different, so I wanted to come out like it should, okay? So now we're back and it has whipped the butter, the uh, sugar has whipped to the consistency which I'm looking for. All right. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay. All right. That right there. That's what you want to see. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go ahead and break down our sides of the bowl. Make sure we get everything back to the center as it should be. Alright. That looks good. Alright. Perfect. 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 So, we are now ready to go ahead and add in our eggs one at a time. Okay, and as you saw in the snapshot there, it takes six large eggs. You can use brown or white. It's your choice. I use brown for this particular uh, recipe, okay? All right, and you're just going to add the eggs in until uh, it's completely combined into the, the, um, the mixture of the sugar in the butter, all right? Okay. We're gonna start it off slow. Okay. All right. So that's about enough time left between each adding of the eggs, okay? All right, so now that we have our eggs combined in there with our sugar and our butter, we're gonna go ahead now and add in our flour, which is our dry ingredient, okay, and our milk. Again, I have put all of the liquids together in the milk, and that is your flavoring, okay, which is vanilla and rum. I'm just going to whip that all together as well. All right, so now we're ready to start that. It's going to alternate, okay? You're alternating between um, dry and liquid, starting with your dry and ending with the dry, okay? That's what you do when you're preparing for your cakes, okay? So I want to make sure I let you know that part. It's very vital when you are preparing your cake, all right? Okay, now, we're going to start off kind of slow. And again, the dry ingredients have been sifted, okay, together as well. This should be a very delicious cake. It's all you're doing, instead of putting it in the bunt or putting it in the um, pound cake pan, you are putting it in layer pan. we're going to do alternate back and forth. All right, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, making 
make sure we get all of that liquid out of there. Okay. That is where your flavoring was, okay? You have to make sure you get all of that out. All right. Then the last part of our flour. Stop and spray down the sides right quick. All right. Oh, that looks excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put in the nutmeg and cinnamon okay that's what I'm putting into this cake I did not put it in the flour because I wanted to save it more towards the end because I want the flour to be more robust towards the end okay so that is going to be a half a teaspoon of each one of those okay to whip that in. Make sure it's well, well combined. Because I find that when you add flavoring, certain cakes you can add flavoring to towards the end. Um, even with pies, when you are preparing those type of dishes, I find that the flavoring you add towards the end tends to linger more in the cakes and the pies throughout the baking process, okay? So that when you bite into it, you get that essence more. So, and so that's what I like to do when I'm baking my cakes and my pies. These certain ones, I do that too. All right. So, now the last thing that we're going to add to this cake, guys, is the uh, rum that I'm going to put in here, okay? And that is your one-fourth cup of rum that um, you uh, add in towards the end, too. Now, you can elect to not put the rum in, okay? But because it is a eggnog cake, I add the rum in to help enhance the flavor, if you will, of um, the eggnog that is usually uh, added to the mix, okay? All right, so we're gonna add that in. And that's our one fourth cup right there. All right. I'm gonna let that combine in there really, really, really well. Okay? So now we're going to do a simple uh, taste test to see exactly where the flavors lie if we need to add any cinnamon nutmeg or or rum or flavoring mm. That's perfect to me. I can taste the rum. I can taste the flavoring um, or extracts, if you will. Um, and the essence of the nutmeg and the cinnamon is perfect. Um, I'm aware that it's gonna cook down a little bit, but still you'll be able to pick up that right away once you taste the cake, okay? So that's what we're looking for. All right, now, we are ready to put our cake into our prepared pans, okay? And I sprayed those, and I also put um, 
cutouts of parchment paper on top of that. Okay, and then I sprayed it again because I wanted to make sure that my cakes release once they are finished baking in the oven. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we're going to put equal amounts into each of the pans. And we have it that is not um, added yet. So we'll just go back over it until we have equal amounts in each of the pans. Okay? So that's what we're basically doing. Just ensuring we have a balance. This smells so delicious, guys. I wish you could smell this cake. Smell a vision. <laughs> Someone need to create smell a vision. <laughs> oh my goodness, this smells good. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot wait until it is completely finished. Yes, yes, yes. equal amount in each of the pan there. We're going to go back over it. And we're going to pop this into the oven, guys, at 325, okay, for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, and I'm going to go back over each one. Of these cakes here and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put these cakes together okay like I said this is something a little different it's not the um, bunt cake okay this is something totally different all right so we're in this together right <laughs> about balance to me. I'm happy with the color. The color is eggnog color. So that means it's going to turn out a lovely yellowish color. And that's what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. I'm going to pop this in the oven. All right, I'm going to smooth this out, just making sure it is balanced. And then we're going to be right back, guys. Okay, I wanted to give you a snapshot of what the cakes here in the pan looks like. Fresh out of the oven, they have cooled off. And we're ready to start icing our cakes. Okay. And the release is successful there. As you can see, that is the part on the bottom there. of our icing there to make sure it stays in place. Place that on there. Alright. Rest of our cake come out. That's what they look like all the way around. There's your release.
I did place the frosting in the refrigerator for a few seconds there to allow it to firm up even more so. So you can do that once you are finished making the frosting, okay? And that will give you enough of the frosting um, to make sure everything is like it should be, okay? I'm just going to put on the first layer, which is known as the crumb coat first. really good and I'm also going to top it a little bit with um, in between the layers here I want to put dash of dash of the uh, nutmeg and the cinnamon that's just my preference you don't have to do that okay because I know what I'm looking for. Just a little dash in between there. Like that. Now, I could have put that in the frosting, but I know how I want it to go. So that's why I'm putting it like that. All right. Okay. Second layer here. Of our crumb coat right in the middle there. I like the thinning of the um, table there, the cake now. It makes it much easier to go around the cake as you work. Much more easier. Much easier. Much easier. All right. See? Coming together pretty good there. all right guys that's the end of another video there hopefully you have enjoyed uh, watching the video of this delicious christmas scented eggnog cake all right all right so we're gonna cut a slice of this cake and we're gonna taste it yes we are all right there we go so let's see where are we gonna cut. I'd say right here. Wow, that's nice. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, let's see. Right here. You can all see that from the side. There you go. That 
is your eggnog three layer cake. Okay? All right. We're gonna taste this cake and now I'll show you a close up shot of that before I get started there. All right. Okay, all right. So now let's taste this cake. Wow, it is moist, I must say. Mmm. That tastes good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste the eggnog for sure. Cinnamon and the nutmeg. And the icing that is in between the layers. I can taste the rum in it. Mm -hmm. And the icing has rum too. Okay, so make sure you understand that part. Mm -hmm. This is excellent. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm so glad I made this cake. Mm hmm. Mm. Yes, indeed. This is excellent, guys. Mm -mm -mm. If you decide to make this cake, please share with me how it turned out for you. And let me know your thoughts as it relates to me making a cake and putting it on the channel for you guys, okay? I must say this is delicious. It's soft. It's moist. And you will enjoy this cake as another addition to your cake baking. All right, so y'all have a great one. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time on the channel. And that's Diane's Decorating and More. Bye-bye. So how does it taste? Very delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very delicious. Okay, all right. Did you taste the eggnog in there? Can you taste the nutmeg, cinnamon, or can you even taste the rum? Just a little bit, just a hint. Not, mm -hmm. not overpowering. Okay. Moist. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Okay. Well, it's just a good one. Okay, okay. All right. I was wondering if you would recognize the flavor if I didn't tell you. Or what type of cake it is or what's the name of the cake. No, I really don't know the name of the cake. <laughs> I can taste, I can taste rum. Taste the rum in there? Mm-hmm. I taste the egg now. Okay. So if you say you taste rum, you taste eggnog, then you should know the name of the cake. Yes, sir, egg rum nog. Eggnog rum cake. It's eggnog cake. Guess what it is. Eggnog slash mm -hmm. rum cake. Yeah, I guess you can say all that up in there, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, this is good. Okay, good. Let me taste the ice now. Yeah, what about the ice? Okay, you can taste it now. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good, good.